Well, good morning, Ocean Anglers. Been out a few times lately, and what can I say? There's fish everywhere. There's fish inshore, there's fish offshore, there's fish midshore. There's just snapper and kawai and kingfish and trevally and John Dory. Just seems everywhere you go. There's, and the reason for that is because we're right in the depth of anchovy season right now. There's anchovies in huge volumes stacked up along places like Fongapro Bay, Stanmore Bay. They get trapped in these little areas in here. So all through here, they're trapped. Tons of anchovies getting smashed up by kingfish and snapper and trevallies. How you catch them is you get your fleas out, people. Fleas are working so well. That's what we designed them for was anchovy season. We're at anchovy season now. Most days they're out fishing soft baits at least three or four to one. So areas you want to look all along this coastline of Whangapura, along Oriwa Beach, in really close, it's all happening. You need your binoculars. They do move around a lot and they move fast. So you need to get your binoculars and find them and burn there in your boat. Also, other places you're going to find them is all along the East Coast Bays. They're all stacked up along here as well, which is awesome. So you don't need to go far. Some guys even catching them off the beach. Where else? The old ever faithful Gardener's Gap in anchovy season is chock full of anchovies. So all through Boulder Bay, Gardener's Gap, she's loaded. One thing to be aware of is... Because there's so much food around, because there's tons of anchovies for the fish to eat, that the bite times can be short. So once you find the anchovies in the bait, try and be there when the tide's flying and stick around if they're not biting because they will bite during the day at some point, but just not all day because there's so much food around for them to eat. Also, other areas, Motahi Channel, this area between Motatapu and Waiheke is happening. Nick Key of Snap Fishing Adventures. Thank you, Nick. Tells me the Tamaki Strait is also full of anchovies. Then he's catching snapper and kingfish and John Dory. Drifting sliders through this area. So well done, Nick. Um, where else? I was out yesterday. I went for a look out wide. Let me show you what's going on out there. So kind of the hot area. Well, for the bigger fish, if you want to go out a longer way, is the squiggles. So this is called the squiggles all through this area here. is called the squiggles, and this whole area yesterday was um, lots of snapper, fish on most drops. No big ones, though, but certainly plenty of them, so that's a good area to look. Um, where I did see some workups yesterday on the way in was around here so around just east of Gannett Rock and about 40 meters around here um, yeah workups Gannets dolphins I didn't stop for long enough to see if they were pilchards because I was trying to get back home so if you want to do workup fishing around here people um, we've also so we've got information from Mike Trail of ultimate charters as well so thanks mate for joining in a few charter captains are joining in all the fun now and offering us good information so he is telling me the um through this area here he's doing well with 40 to 60 gram sliders oh and he also said which is great intel for those who don't want to go too far is between like oraki and north head so when you come out through this area here, you'll see the dancing white turns. And he said, make sure you have a go. If you see the white turns on your way out and the um, boiling kawa in this area, make sure you have a go because he's been pulling out some really nice snapper from these schools, which is really close in, guys. So there you have it, man. So stay in shore. That'd be my recommendation. Fish your feet first because, you know... You can go about miles and not catch much. And if you miss a bite time and you go all that way, you're kind of screwed. Where if you stay inshore, you can, you've can you got more time to do fishing. So my tip for this weekend is um, the weather's looking really good, especially on Sunday, is to grab yourself some fleas and go and get some, make sure you've got binoculars, look for the white dancing turns and the shearwaters 
and go and fish underneath them and catch yourself a whole lot of snapper, maybe a John Dory, maybe a Trevally, maybe even a big kingfish because there's kingfish and close roaming through the anchovies and there they are there for the taking. So I hope you all have a good day and an even better weekend because there's good weather and the fish are everywhere. See ya.